Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Everyday Seminar. Before we move on to today's topic, let's go through last week's task. Okay, I asked everyone to uh, do some research into what exactly is a is the elimination method. Okay, in comparison to the method we used last week, the substitute substitution method. Okay, so the elimination method is a way of solving uh, equations through elimination. Okay, you eliminate the equations by adding or subtracting the equations. Um, here's a simple example here. Okay, when adding two equations, you basically add all parts of them. So what we're going to do here with these equations is we're going to either add or take away going downwards. Okay, and we're going to eliminate a variable. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add, okay, add going downwards, 4x plus negative 4x, that cancels out, so we've eliminated the x, 5y plus negative 3y is 2y, 14 plus negative 10 is 4, 2y is equal to 4, therefore y is equal to 2, okay, and as we explained last week, when you find the value of one variable, you can take that value and substitute it back in here or here, the original equations. And then you can use that or that to solve for x. Okay, this is a very simple example here. Okay, well, let's move on to today's lesson. Okay, today's lesson, an introduction to trigonometry. Okay, um, this first lesson, we're going to talk briefly about the history of trigonometry and uh, an explanation of uh, the key terms. Yep, so the list is very long. Key terms for this lesson, trigonometry, a polygon, angles, acute triangles, obtuse triangles, equilateral triangles, scalene triangles, isosceles triangles, right angle triangles, the hypotenuse, the adjacent line, the opposite line, we're going to talk a little bit about Pythagoras theorem or the Pythagorean theorem and uh, classify. What does it mean to classify? Okay, a brief history of uh, trigonometry and its applications. Trigonometry is basically a branch of mathematics that studies triangles. Okay, it's all about triangles and the relationships between their sides and the angles between these sides. So a lot of what we talk about are angles in the triangles and the lengths of their sides, okay? It comes from the Greek word meaning triangle measuring, and it's all about measuring triangles. Its basic theorems have been studied since the second millennium BC by both the Egyptians and Babylonian people, okay? These were brilliant mathematicians long time ago. Its practical applications are extensive, ranging from astronomy, Okay, or finding the dis uh, an example, finding the distances between planets, uh, geography, finding the height of a mountain, and mechanics, for example, when you want to, when they're working on enabling the movement of a robotic arm, and so forth. So, for a lot of students, trigonometry may seem a, a bit boring, but uh, once you know the basics of trigonometry, there are many things you can do with them. First slide of our topic here, triangles. What exactly is a triangle? A triangle is a three-sided polygon. Okay, a polygon means it has a many sides, a shape that has many sides. Every triangle has three sides and three angles. When added together, the three angles equal to 180. Okay, perhaps one of the most popular rules of a triangle, x plus y plus z, the degrees, equals to 180 degrees. Okay. Acute triangles. What, what is an acute triangle? It's a triangle in which all angles are less than 90 degrees. Okay, so this angle is less than 90, that angle is less than 90 degrees, and that angle is less than 90 degrees. Here's another example here. Okay, they're all less than one, uh, 90 degrees. Acute. An obtuse triangle. An obtuse triangle is a triangle in which one of the angles is greater than 90 degrees. Okay, uh, here's an example. This is less than 90, less than 90. And as you can see, this point here, this is over 90 degrees, okay? Another example, over 90 degrees.
a right angle triangle or right triangles as they are sometimes known. A right triangle is a triangle with an angle of 90 degrees, okay? You notice that it's a 90 degree angle is usually marked with a, uh, a small square box in the corner, okay? So this is what you call a right angle triangle. More on that later. Scalene triangles is a, a scalene triangle is a triangle with three or well, all unequal sides, okay? Now, uh, as you notice, that side is different from that side, it's different from that side, and therefore, if all sides are different, then all angles are different, okay? Okay, more on, on these marks later on, we'll be explaining what they mean, okay? Another example of a scaling triangle, three different sides, three different angles. An isosceles triangle is a triangle with two equal sides, okay? So the length of this side is different from this and this. B is the same as B here. So if that's, uh, say, 20 centimeters, then that's 20 centimeters. And if two sides are the same, then these two angles will be the same. That's why it has a one little line there, one little line. So that angle is equal to that angle, okay? What is an equilateral triangle? So an equilateral triangle is a triangle with all three sides of equal length. So A here, A here, A here. If that's 30 centimeters, that's 30 centimeters, that's 30 centimeters, all equal. And if all the sides are equal, then all the angles are equal, okay? 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. Remember that equilateral. Okay. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this, the hypotenuse, the adjacent and opposite, okay? Um, these terms are used f especially for the right angle triangle, okay? Um, now what exactly is the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is a triangle's longest side, okay? It's the side across the right angle on the other side, okay? Um, the adjacent leg, adjacent, is the other side that is adjacent to angle A, or flat on the ground, okay? That's angle A, and that's across to it, it's adjacent. The opposite side is the side that is opposite to angle A, that's angle A here, and this is the opposite, okay? The vertical line to the 90 degree angle. Um, Today we've used the term opposite and adjacent, but sometimes they're known as the perpendicular, the base, and uh, moving on, the Pythagorean theorem, okay? For a right angle triangle with legs A, B, and hypotenuse C, this is one of the most popular equations in math, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, okay? A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So if that is A and if that is B, then C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared, okay? There's a lot of applications in this uh, Pythagoras theorem. Now let's uh, move on to something a bit different. Let's learn to read triangular points. And uh, as an example, let's classify different triangles. Okay, in the picture below. Okay, as you'll notice, if I have two lines here, then that's the same as the two lines here, which is the same as the two lines here. So the length of these sides are exactly the same. And if it has one line, it's the same as this one, same as that. Okay, so let's classify the following triangles AED, or triangle AED. So triangle AED, and that's the triangle here. Okay, um, so what is this triangle? That side is the same as that side. All three sides are the same, so it's an equilateral triangle. Okay, equilateral triangle. Now next triangle, triangle ABC. A, B, C, so that side, the length of that side is the same as the length of that side and the same as this side, so that is also a equilateral triangle, okay, and green highlight here. The next triangle, A, C, D, A, C, D, Move that way, okay, that side is different from that side, it looks kind of different from here, so if none of the sides are the same, 
it's a scalene, a scalene triangle, okay? Triangle ACD is a scalene triangle. And our last triangle ACE, ACE, okay, what do we notice here? That square box shows that this is 90 degrees over here. So it's a right angle triangle or right triangle. Okay, so let's check our answers here. Uh, triangle AED, equilateral triangle. Triangle ABC was also equilateral. Triangle ACD, scalene triangle. And as you'll notice here, it's an, also an obtuse angle. Okay, let's just go back a bit. So you can see here that it has uh, one angle here greater than 90 degrees. Okay. And our last triangle, triangle ACE, is a right angle triangle. Um, let's have a look at that a bit. You notice that this right angle triangle also looks like a scalene triangle, okay? None of the sides are, are the same, okay? So it's a scalene triangle and also a right angle triangle. Okay, so uh, um, please get used to the, uh, the terms we talked about today. And moving forward, we'll be going through... Uh, uh, topics such as the sine theory and the cosine theory. Um, and yep, I hope you do your research and hope to see you again next time. Thank you very much for joining us today at Everyday Seminar. Hope you have a good day.